hey, do you want to win a whole bunch of Time Spiral Remastered? Awesome, because we're going to give away the contents of the box we're about to open. Subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below, and we will randomly draw a winner. Good luck! Hey everybody, and welcome to a Crack a Box here on LRRMTG. I'm Graham. And I'm Kathleen. It's Time Spiral Remastered release day, and we have an entire box of it. And you want to see us open it, we presume, or you wouldn't have clicked on the video. We're not here to judge. No, but we are here to open uh, 36 booster packs, each with 15 randomly inserted game cards, rulebook not included. I mean, if that's a deal breaker for you on Time Spiral, no judgment. Like yeah. I said, we're not here to do it. Leave a comment though. Tell us why that's the that's the deal breaker for you. So if you're unfamiliar, it says here, it's our pleasure to reintroduce an all-time favorite block now concentrated into a singular experience. Time Spiral Remastered brings together the most exciting cards from Time Spiral, Planar Chaos, and Future Sight, plus a special sheet of modern day cards printed in a throwback magic frame. And that's what we're most interested in. Are we, in this video, going to go through exhaustively every single card out of every single pack that we open? No, that's for you to do on your own time. Yeah, that seems like a just a colossal... I don't... You might want to watch that. I don't really feel like editing it. But are we going to show you every single rare and throwback card that we find? Yes, that is the reason we are recording this video. Good. I'm glad we're all on the same page. <laughs> All right, let me crack into this. Square. Factory sealed. It's just lots of slivers when you open the pack. It's just like the three booster pack arts. We've got, I think it's Muscle Sliver. Um, stuffy Doll. And then somewhere in here is the third one. Oh, there we go. Sarah Avenger? Sarah Ascendant? I don't remember. Maybe we'll open one. So I actually don't know what's in the whole set. So I am kind of keen to like look at them like what's the what's this oh coral trickster it's morph but it's cheap to turn up and then you can twiddle something morphs in this that's neat how exciting uh here's a little bit about how the sausage is made of course to get a, to get this out for release day we we had the box ahead of time because we filmed a bunch of shorts for wizards of the coast mm -hmm. so at hey. time of recording this is very surprising check it out urza's factory no that's neat Sorry, some of the uncommons are probably going to be fairly interesting. But anyway, all right. Oh, hey. Okay, so our rare <gasps> Safi Eric's daughter. With the new art. Yeah. Our throwback card, Kiki Jiki. Ooh. Very nice. It's already so spicy. And we have a foil Judge Unworthy, which is a foil. Wow, that Kiki Jiki looks... Everything just looks really cool in the old card frame. I mean, they picked the right art for it, for cards that have multiple art, but this is very cool. Mm. These do legitimately smell different. I think, back me up on that. This is the preview of cool cards and smell test. Oh yeah, that's, all right, hold on. <laughs> it's distinct, isn't it? This is why you came to this video. It smells like I mean, like ink and paint and stuff like that, but it has a almost like a floral overtone to it. Like not even joke. We did this as a bit, which you probably have seen by now, but this isn't even a joke. No. Yeah. All right. But what isn't a joke, I think, I haven't gotten here yet, is our, oh, is Aeon Chronicler. Oh, very nice. Yes. This is a really stacked pack because the throwback card is Lavinia. Very cool. I, she looks great with the old card frame. Yeah, wow, actually that, that fits in there really well. I love the old gold borders. The old, uh, just the very like marbly gold effect. I think it looks neat. I mean, it's, it's when I started playing the game, obviously, but I dig it. All right, next pack. All right. Oh, Sangrophage. What? Uh, this, it's not the rare, I just, it's like two of that other card, two Carnophages stapled together. Oh. Yeah. Kinda, it's not, I think a Carnophage is a 2-2, but still, still. It's 1.5 Carnophages. Mm -hmm. We'll remember that for future. Ooh, this is a very spicy pack. Okay, our rare upgraded to Mythic oh. is Ancestral Vision. Ooh. So that's very exciting. Then we have a foil throwback card of Goblin Engineer. <gasps> I didn't even know 
I am learning now that you can get the throwback cards in foil. Oh, and it does the old the old foil system where it's just the just the border, so the art isn't foil. It's just that that looks very cool. That's great, actually. That's awesome. And then our non-foil throwback is just a little something called Chalice of the Void. Oh my. Pretty good. Oh my. Dang. Wowee. Well, shoot, I made a pile for throwback cards and a pile for foils. So I don't know if Goblin Engineer, which pa which pile Goblin Engineer goes in. Let's put it in the throwback pile, I guess. I was gonna say, what about starting a, a whole new pile for foily throwbacks? Well. I don't know what the odds are on that. I don't know either. Ooh, there's some very cool stuff here. Ooh. I'm having a blast <gasps> already. All right, hold on. There's Vesuvian shapeshifters are rare. Nice. I don't know, if somebody's doing sealed and these are the first few packs they've opened, their blue is already looking extremely good. <laughs> yeah, and Chronicler, Vesuvian Shapeshifter, and yeah. Ancestral Vision. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> but our throwback is another beloved character from Ooh. Magic. This is Alesha Who Smiles at Death from Cons of Tarkir. Nice. That's very, that's also very cool. I gotta stop, I need to meet her, the words I'm saying that essentially mean very cool because I'm just repeating myself at this point. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Alrighty, ooh, empty the warrant. Wow, what is this? What is this? What fresh hell? I'm sorry, this is a common, but what, Kathleen, what is this card? Oh, I've seen Dreamstalker before. <laughs> like, at night? In, in your nightmares? No, in, like, comics that other people have drawn. This looks like an Abby Howard monster. It's, it's upsetting. From this pack, however, our rare is Benelish Commander very cool whoa this is a i'm actually going to show you this token first because this is an involved token it's got text whoa it's a one two flying bat and for one in a black and sack it return an exiled card named Sengir nosferatu to the battlefield under its owner's control okay so that's a very old vampire and yeah he makes very he makes one two bats which like nothing else makes and they have like text so it's very complicated do you have this in any of your vampire commander decks? i do well there you go finally i'm so excited honestly <laughs> And our throwback card, this is also very spicy, is Remand. Ooh. Oh, that's very cool. That looks sick. <laughs> Got a molten slag heap in here, too. Oh, Children of Corliss. Anyway. This feels incredibly decadent. It really does. This is like, this is the equivalent of like eating a bowl of ice cream for breakfast, mm. but with magic cards. Delicious. Oh, okay. So our rare is coalition relic oh very nice our throwback <laughs> card Ooh. looks incredible is past in flames <laughs> what i love about this is that they've put the old like hey this card cares about the graveyard icon up there and it's just this it's it's a very bad drawing of a tombstone <laughs> and i love that they're like no nah, it's uh, that's part of the frame now mm-hmm mm -hmm. Ah, oh, God, more Dreamstalker. Why? I'm just shuffling through the pack and it's like, hello, you found me. Alrighty, we've got a foil. Uh, do you want to take that one? Yixlid Jailer. Yeah, Yixlid. All right. I mean, I don't have any pronunciation guide on that. <gasps> Our rare is a Lotus Bloom. Ooh. It's very nice. And, uh, oh, cool. An assembly worker token by Mark Tadine. That's wow, great. I don't think I've... Is that new for this? I think this is a new token. That's awesome, because it comes out of the uh, the that land that I... the mm. versus factory. Mm -hmm. Anyway, and our throwback card is Trigon Predator. Oh. Cube auto-include, or at least it always seems to show up in the Magic Online cube. Trigon Predator. Looking very nice in the marbled gold. Mm-hmm. 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 The only way you can tell that it's not an old card, like actually an old card, is that if that was an old card, uh, it would deal six damage to you when it came into the battlefield, and then you'd have to sacrifice it at the end of the next turn. Way greater downsides, yeah. Yeah. All right, hey, you know how we keep seeing all those slivers? Yes. Uh, well, we've got our first sliver Ooh. at rare. This is a Polomic sliver. Pul pulmonic? Pulmonic? Oh, like pulmonary. I, I don't know. It looks like a blood vessel. It looks like it's had an embolism, yes. Yeah, it, but it says all sliver creatures have flying. Oh, no. But if it if it's put into a graveyard, you may put it on top of its owner's library instead. Wow. So when they wrath you, all your slivers just go back on top of the deck. Yeah, and you just get to just draw them one at a time again. Oh, boy. 
This is why it's an un a universal understanding that no matter what the competitiveness level of a commander game is, if anybody shows up with the Slivers deck, everybody beats up the Slivers deck first. Yes, until they're demoralized and never play again. Yeah, until they bring a different deck. Yeah. Oh, wow. I've never seen this. I think this is new art on Logic Knot. That's very cool art. Because previously, um, Logic Knot was in the Future Sight frame, which oh. is not, not in this set. So that's, uh, I dig that, the the red energy getting countered. That's very cool. That's not the rare or the throwback card. I just really liked it and didn't recognize the art. There's some cards in here that, had, like this one, like Blade of the Six Pride, that were in the Future Sight frame before that just have new art now. Yeah, and a, a normal card frame. Yeah. By the way, continue to make blades happen. Three ones for two. That's, that's what we've been saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, tendrils, Lightning Axe... Uh, ah, okay. The rare is Sudden Spoiling. I'm not totally familiar with it, but I know that it has split second. Until end of turn, creatures target player controls lose all abilities and have base power and toughness. Oh, okay. So you can make all their creatures weeny teeny and kill them all in combat, I think is the plan. That's pretty dang good, actually. That is cool. And our throwback is Path to Exile. Oh. Very nice. Oh. There's a new soldier token, just a new 1-1 one, one soldier, very in keeping <gasps> with the plane. Oh my god, look how good that looks. Oh, that's sick. That reminds me of like, Mobius. Yeah. I'm enjoying all there. these tokens just as much as, much as the throwback cards. <gasps> well, hey, this is a card I also have in some commander decks. Mm -hmm. It's back at Mythic this time. Ooh. It's Damnation. People have been wanting some sort of reprint of Damnation for a long time. Yeah. And it's finally here. Ugh. Sweet. Oh, mm, mm. oh, it is so delicious. And our throwback card is Arch of Orazka. Oh, wow. I love the old land frame on Arch of Orazka. I, f I forgot how much I enjoyed the old land frame. Oh, that looks great. Mm -hmm. uh, that's very nice. I like that a lot. I think that the art team really hit it out of the park, picking new cards with art that would go with the old frames. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Some packs are harder to... Oh, God, it's Dreamstalker again. Why? Every time I open a pack, it's this, this awful face staring at me. It's like he is stalking you. It's, this, it's the same card. It's like there's no Dreamstalkers in the pile of stuff I've already opened. It's just the, the same card keeps sneaking into new new packs. All right, we have a foil spike tail drakeling. Ooh. A rare is Angel's Grace which is another instant with split second. You can't lose the game this turn and your opponents can't win the game this turn until end of turn damage that would reduce your life total to less than one reduces it to one instead. So it's just like, nuh uh. And check this out though. Our throwback card is Elvish Mystic. Oh. That's terrific. That's so good. We've got our rare Flagstones of Trocare. Oh yeah, Flagstones. I. Cannot say I'm super familiar with this card. Oh, talk to the North 100 folks about flagstones. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, yes. When a flagstones of Trocare is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you may search your library for a planes card, put it on the battlefield, tap, and shuffle your library. So you can, like... It's, it, it's, it's an odd one, to be sure. It's cool seeing that in the new legendary frame. Mm-hmm. With the, the spiky top. Yeah, so I don't quite know how to exploit that card, but I'm sure somebody is extremely excited that's here. But here's a card that's easy, Ooh. easy to use. That's Field of Ruin. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, Kathleen, mm -hmm. are you ready for a zombie wizard? The rare is Dralnu Lich Lord. If damage would be dealt, the text is small. If damage would be dealt to Dralnu Lich Lord, sacrifice that many permanents instead. Whoa. Tap, target instant or sorcery in your graveyard gains flashback until end of turn. The flashback cost is equal to its mana cost. So you get to just make anything flashback. Wow. So that's cool. And our throwback card is Big Swag Tusk. Yes. Very nice with big swags over here. So our rare in this pack why uh, many people have called her the original planeswalker. This is back in her fiery youth. Why, of course, it's Jaya Ballard, Task Mage. Hey. Uh, because, of course, she basically is a planeswalker before they'd figured out how to make them. Yeah, she's got the three different abilities and everything. And then later would actually be printed as an actual planeswalker. Yes. Yes. But what if your time of need 
is your throwback. I don't, I don't have a good transition here. <laughs> but what if time of need? What is time of need? Uh, search your library for a legendary creature card. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. The flavor text references Kamigawa. So I guess this is from Kamigawa, because I've never seen it before in my life. No. No, I've literally never seen this card before. I'm sure somebody who plays Commander is like, ah, yes, that staple of the format. The first card in this pack I've also never seen before, and it's called Reality Acid. Have you ever heard of Reality Acid before? No. What kind of card do you think that is? That is an instant. No. A sorcery? Nope. What? It's a creature enchantment. Okay, all right. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, creature, I mean, it's... technically you, you can take acid, so that's something that could enchant a creature. Correction, it's a permanent enchantment with vanishing three. Oh, okay, this is the, why I've never seen this card before. <laughs> the permanent, sorry, the aura, the reality acid has vanishing. When reality acid leaves the battlefield, enchanted permanence controller sacrifices it. Okay, so what upside do I get for it's got? So I only get it for three turns, and it takes the... It, presumably, the creature just has seen too much and needs to go home after uh -huh. that. Yeah. So you've got to sacrifice it. Yeah. Uh, what What do I, th I think I get? It's blue, I assume? Mm-hmm. Just seems blue. Uh, do they get to draw a card if they deal combat damage? No. Do they get flying? No. Do they get plus one, plus one? No, you're overthinking it. This is a removal spell. <laughs> That's all it does. It's just a very slow slow removal spell. Oh, I thought for some reason if I was spending a card and mana and waiting three turns, I'd get a benefit. <laughs> the benefit is that after three turns, your opponent's creature uh, will be sacrificed if they haven't killed you with it by then. Never seen reality acid before. It's not exactly a cue ball star. No. I'm sure there's ways to exploit this card, and I keep saying that, but if you know how to use these cards and I don't, you can you can put um, detailed instructions in the comments that I probably won't read, but I feel that you should get it out of your system and boost their engagement while you're at it. Also that. Hey, Rift Bolt. Aw, they reprinted Ancient Grudge, but it makes absolutely no mention of Avacyn's Collar, the symbol of her church. I thought this set was about the memes. I'm sorry, I should be getting to the rares. Um, Calciderm? Oh no. All right. A foil, Utopia Vow. The rare is a mythic, the Gauntlet of Power. Oh, that looks sick, what does it do? As it enters the battlefield, choose a color. Creatures of the chosen color get plus one, plus one. Whenever a basic land is tapped for mana of the chosen color, its controller adds an additional mana of that color. So it's just very strong. That's super strong. If you need to get rid of it, may I suggest this throwback, Quasali Pride Mage. Oh. This is going into my commander deck. Ooh. Yeah. In my latest pack, our rare slot included yet another sliver. This is the fungus sliver. Gross. Uh, growth, actually. Because oh. the, you, whenever the slivers are dealt damage, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Instead, or just as well? What? Yes. Oh, as well. Interest. So if it lives through combat, it just gets bigger. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, See my previous remarks regarding sliver players, commander, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. But what is our throwback card? It is a card that is also near and dear to my heart. <gasps> Gary! Old Border Gary. <laughs> Old Border Gary. I love him. That's awesome. I, I want to put this in my popper deck. Oh, that's so it's cool. It's a very swag for a popper deck, but I think we'll manage. Was Gary ever printed at Common? Oh, yes, in original yes, Theros. Original right. Theros. And then it was Theros, Theros Beyond Death. They were like, we... We have to put him at uncommon. Yeah, Gary, Gary's got to move up a notch. He's a little bit too good. Mm -hmm. Hey, Simeon Spirit Guide. That's awkward. Luteril <gasps> Core. Okay, hold on. This is not a throwback card, but I didn't know they were doing these. Oh, wow. Dead and gone. Neat. That's so cool. I didn't know that either. No, that's so silly. I like the I like the two-sided cards. It's a little bit more elegant than this, I think, mm -hmm. than the teeny tiny magic cards. Uh, my rare here, I have the Stuffy Doll. Oh! Which I believe is still our avatar on Magic Online. And our throwback is Sanguine Bond, <laughs> which does feel like a very old magic. It feels like an old magic. The card, art right? is even, like, really fits. Like I said, the good job, Watsy. Yeah, like three black, black. Whenever you gain life, target opponent loses that much life. That, that feels like a card that should have been in this frame to begin with. Mm hmm, mm hmm. So I have a Sedge Sliver. Wow, you're hitting all the rare slivers. Yeah, all sliver creatures have gets 
It, the, this creature gets plus one, plus one as long as you control a swamp. And all slivers have black regenerate this permanent. Wow, they are just in all the colors too. Yes, five okay. color hiss stuff. <laughs> five color sliver nonsense. Yeah, but what is our rare? I'm also like, I feel like I'm getting rares that are catered to my taste because mm -hmm. we have a bad boy who also probably should have been in this Ooh. frame to begin with. And I have a commander deck that I uh, actually took on game nights and did really well with. Uh, it was Aristocrats with him as the commander. This is Yogmoth, Thran Physician. Uh, oh, wow, yes. This is great. I want to rewind for a moment. You referred to the Sliver deck as five color hiss stuff. Do you think that Slivers hiss? Or do you think they chitter? Um, I think probably they do both. I think probably like you hear the as they're approaching you, and when they get like right up to you, that's when they start chittering excitedly. Oh, okay. If you can hear the chittering, it's too late, that kind of thing? Yeah, if you can hear the hissing, it's too late. Oh, all right. Fair enough. Good point. Good, more reality acid. What's up? So I, I speak, So I have seen that the Gossamer Phantasm is a creature back in the, in, in, uh, is a common creature. Mm -hmm. uh, what I really like about this is this does put me in the mind of old magic, because it's a two one for two with a, with sort of a drawback. Whereas nowadays, I'm so spoiled by the state of common magic, I'm used to a uh, common 2-2 two -two with upside yeah. for every color. Yeah. Right? It does fly. Yeah, that's true. You got that going for you. Uh, oh, wow. This pack is this pack is stacked all over. We've got a foil Safi Eric's daughter. Ooh. Our rare is Thelon of Havenwood now printed for the first time in the new legendary frame. And then our throwback card is a Goblin Engineer, which I should read, because I didn't read it when the foil came around. When Goblin Engineer enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an artifact card, put that into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Red and tap and sacrifice an artifact, return target artifact card from con with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. It certainly has the amount of text I would expect from a card of this era. Mm -hmm. This is not a rare. This is an uncommon, but I do want to say, look at how good the art on Yavimaya Dryad is. Oh, yes. That's just really beautiful. Rebecca Gay does terrific work. But our rare is a card which has now got a new frame. Ooh. It's Miri the Cursed. With new art. Yeah. She's a vampire cat. Rare. Uh, she's great. And then our throwback card is Containment Priest. Oh, all right. It's cats and hate bears. All right. Did you ever actually have a Mary the Curse deck, or was that part of a Friday Night's episode? She's definitely in a like a, my mono black vampire deck. Okay. Because why wouldn't she be? She's a vampire. And a cat. Mana Tithe? Oh, no. Hey, anybody who gets to draft this or whatever, be, be aware Mana Tithe is in this set. Ooh. I had no idea. Okay. If your opponent has an untapped planes beware uh whoa check out this metallic sliver token that's sick as hell i've never seen that's 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 very giger that uh that that art uh the rare is swarm yard oh that art is disgusting that's fantastic yeah and our throwback card which just looks so at home in this frame is <gasps> germag angler oh. germagler right and in my pack I, it's like these packs know me because I keep opening these black rares. Our rare is Urborg, tube, Tomb of Yogmoth. So we got mm. Yogmoth and now his tomb. Sweet. And for my throwback card, it's Evolutionary Leap. Oh, wow. That's recent. Cool. What great flavor text. The essence of nature is change. That's very clean. Yeah. You know, I haven't actually seen that many slivers outside of green, red, and white. Oh, that's true, actually. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Look at this token. Knight. It's a 2-2 knight with haste and pro-white and flanking. What, what makes that? <laughs> what makes these tokens? Oh, I can't wait to find Somebody out. Somebody out there who, kn I'm sure many people know, but someone out there is like, yes, finally they've printed official tokens for this card that I like. All right, foil. Keen sense. Keen sense. Rare, Thelonite Hermit. All the sapperlings get plus one, plus one. Oh, and it's another morph card. Mm hmm And our throwback is Cloud Shredder Sliver. Now, you can play, I believe you can play. Can you play the throwback cards in, like, a draft? I, I, I assume so. Well, this seems like it'd be pretty good. Yeah. In, in the Sliver deck. Look, they all have flying in haste. Taste it. Oh, God. This pack. Mm-hmm. I actually have... 
Uh, so remember we had that bat token, and you're yeah. like, what the heck makes that bat? Oh, and I was no like, way. it's Sengir Nosferatu, he's a vampire. So here he is, here, and he we've got his token here. Oh, sweet. So basically it's a fun thing you can do, is like if he's going to get removed, you can, um, you can, and you have one in a black up, you can, you can get rid of him and get a bat. That's a very elegant way of doing the like vampire transforms into a bat mm -hmm. thing. That's good, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. The bat's easier to kill but that's fine. Yeah. But my throwback card is Trinket Mage. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Doesn't that look good in the old frame? Dang, yes. And I actually got a foil in this pack and it is a big one. It is <laughs> dropped on the floor. I can't wait to find out what it is. Oh, I just don't want to hit the, it's right underneath the tripod leg. It's been recovered. Look at this guy. He's like 16 feet tall. It's Crovax, Ascendant Hero. Oh, wow. He makes all the other stuff teeny weeny. Absolutely. Cool. He's larger than life, and so are his friends. Mm -hmm. So that's very cool. Two-headed sliver. <laughs> now, only neutral milk hotel joke I'm going to make today. Uh, don't make promises you can't keep. On this recording. <laughs> you don't know that's the only Neutral Milk Hotel reference you're going to make. Uh, all right. I've got a Foil Deep Cavern Imp, which is a 2-2 with Flying and Haste. I've got a Rare, which is Reiterate. Ooh. My Rare is Reiterate. Thank you. And the throwback card is Ethereal Armor. Oh. Which is not a card I'd expected to see here, but oh, Boggles. 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 Of course. So my rare is Heartwood Storyteller. <gasps> Ooh. That card's great. That's in my Tree Folk deck. Oh, well, there you go. And our throwback, also a classic, Ooh. is a Rakdos Charm. Very nice. Riddle of Lightning. Wait, at Common? Ooh. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, another Dream Stalker. Wow, stay away from me. Oh, you mean the same Dream Stalker. Right. Again and again. Over and over. Uh, oh, ooh, okay. Speaking of slivers, I just heard the chitter of the slivers, meaning it's too late. It's the Sliver Legion. <gasps> Whoa. There's your commander for the sliver deck. Yeah. All the slivers get plus one, plus one for each other sliver on the battlefield. Oh, here we go. Hidden within the clicking, chittering swarm is a unique mind, still young, but growing more aware as time passes. There you go. That is the canonically according to the flavor text. They click and chitter. That makes sense. All right. They do slither though, so that would probably sound like hissing. I think I think your interpretation is still valid. Yeah. And our throwback, <laughs> a little friend uh, by yeah. the name of True Name Nemesis. Oh boy. Well. Now, when your opponent beats you with a True Name Nemesis, it, their card can look especially swag while doing so. That, that's really gonna put you over the edge. I mm -hmm. think. Um, my I have a, yet another black rare. No. It's Nether Trader. Wow. It's got shadow. Oh, okay, right. So it exists in the shadow realm of combat. Yes. All right. And my throwback is epic experiment. Wow. Wow, that looks awesome. Oh, I love it. Let me into you. Piracy charm? What? <laughs> What's a piracy charm? <laughs> piracy charm. Single blue mana. Choose one. Target creature gains island walk until end of turn or gets plus one minus, plus two minus one, or target player discards a card. What an odd. That seems great, honestly. What I love that. Odd collection of things. All right, well, actually, hey, enchantments. Yeah. Speaking of which, feebleness. There's a there's an enchantment sub-theme going oh. on in this deck. I've not seen that before. There is. Hey, look, a little fairy token. It's a cloud sprite. Mm. It's the one with flying and can only block creatures with flying. That's cool. Anyway, my rare is the Angel of Salvation, which is eight mana, but it has flash and convoke and flying. And when it enters the battlefield, prevent the next five damage that would be dealt this turn to any number of targets divided as you choose. That'll really heck up combat. And our throwback card is <gasps> Vanquisher's Banner. Oh. The the old the old artifact frame. I was talking about land quite a bit, but the old artifact frame looks very cool, too. Yeah, I like the... I mean, that's the joke, is the artifacts are brown. Yeah, the old brown. Right? For my rare. Hey! It's Care Keep. Care Keep. You need to make a kobold? The kobolds of. Yeah. They're still here? <laughs> <laughs> nice. And Harvester of Souls. Oh, that was from the first Innistrad block, I think? I think so. There was, there was the two... There was a green one and a black one. There was the Harvester of Souls, that whenever another creature died, you drew a card. And then the green one was like four green green, and whenever a creature 
entered the battlefield, you drew a card. Mm -hmm. I think it was, and it was like so. It wasn't. It was like Soul of the Harvest. Was that it? Was it just Soul of the Harvest and Harvester of Souls? I think that was it. Yeah. If you know what it is, let us know in the comments. <laughs> Thank you for pushing engagement. <laughs> Check out our Patreon also. Subscribe to the channel. What other calls to action can we make? We have a store. We sell magic stuff on our store. It's store.loadingradiorun.com, like playmats and shirts with magic jokes on them. And stuff like that. Check that out, too. Please. Uh, what the? Look at this token. That is very cool looking land of war elves. I'm trying to figure but out- But it's a token. Oh, it's yeah. a token that's a card. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a token. So what makes Lana War Elves? I don't know. Oh, hey. I, I have a rare double card. I've oh. got Boom and Bust. Oh, yeah. Destroy target land you control and target land you don't control or all the lands. If you decide no, you know what? Nobody gets to have fun. Yeah. Which one's worse for you? And our throwback <laughs> card is Crystal Shard, which is just so annoying. <laughs> Three and tap or blue and tap, return target creature to its owner's hand unless its controller pays one. How to irritate your opponent and alienate people. Mm, for our rare, Glittering Wish. Oh, wow. You may reveal a car multicolored card you own from outside the game and put it into your hand and then exile Glittering Wish. Mm. Oh. And then our throwback, also in that classic brown frame, it's Hedron Archive. Oh, I love Hedron Archive. Oh, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. That'll be good in some commander decks, I feel. Hey, check this out. In the pack I just opened, there is a there is a sliver in black. There's the necrotic sliver. Oh, great. Which is all slivers have three and, sac and sacrifice to uh, vindicate. Okay, I don't, I've never seen this token before. Ape. 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 All right, our rare is, ah, yes, good old porphyry nodes. What? It's another enchantment, though. Yeah, single white. At the beginning of your upkeep, destroy the creature with the least power. It can't be regenerated. If two or more creatures are tied for power, you choose one of them. When there are no more creatures on the battlefield, sacrifice porphyry nodes. There was definitely an episode of North 100 where they talked about playing this in Highlander, and I don't remember why or why that was good. And our throwback is a Johnny's Pride Mate. Oh, look how good that looks in the old frame. Yeah. I keep saying that. I, it's like I I'm think, a broken record. I think I've been doing the same. I think it's a common theme. I think that these cards all look good in the old frame. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I want every magic card to be in the old frame, but it is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. So I got a foil. I got Ooh. a foil calciform pools, and it's nice because our play mat split, and this is a sort of split, so I can really line that up nicely. Yeah, all the storage lands apparently are in here, Ooh. which I did not know. I also got, for my rare, life and limb. Oh, wow. All forests and saplings are 1-1 one, one green sapling creatures and forest lands in addition to their other types. Oh, that's just an enchantment. That just stays that way. Yeah. Oh, that's dangerous. Also, can I give an A++ to the naming for this enchantment? Life and limb. Everything is alive. Everything is a tree. It's very good. That's really... This is very, like, elegant. Pass the turn. Uh, Pyroclasm. Oh. Yeah. What about Panharmonicon? Ooh. <laughs> in the old frame. Oh, I love it. Mm. I love it. Last packs. This is our last pack. Oh, this has been so much fun. Yeah. Another piracy charm. Well, come to me if you need piracy charms or, or one copy of Dreamstalker that keeps showing up. Well, if you need a deadly grub, let me tell you... Hey, this is an actual vanishing card that's good. It's got vanishing three. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when deadly grub dies, if it had no time counters on it, create a 6-1 green insect token with shroud. With shroud? So you can't target it, but your opponent can't either. Okay. That's sick. That's really good, honestly. You got a 3-1 for three turns. Oh, hey, I reminded myself where that ape came from. I've got a pongify. I don't know why it's called pongify, but it sure is. Was there like a like a... A famous monkey or ape named Pongo or something at some point. Oh, hey, look. I got that insect token. It's a 6-1 oh. insect with shroud. Oh, that's awful looking. <laughs> it sure is. Did that? Oh, deadly grub. I get yeah. it. It turns into an insect. Yeah. But realistically, what we're really interested in is the rare, which is Mangara of Corindor. Oh, yes. Mangara. Yes. As in the diplomat. Oh, yeah. Later the diplomat. We've got a foil thrill of the hunt. Oh, yeah flashback is also in this set sure and our 
throwback card is Palace Jailer. Oh, man. Speaking of Highlander, mm -hmm. I know that they're going to be into that. Ah, the Monarch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. My rare here is Venser, Shaper mm. Savant. Oh, my gosh. In the wow. new legendary frame. And throwback card. Very excited about this. Cranial <gasps> Plating. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well. This pack, I think, was very good to us, and I had a lot of fun opening it. Oh, yeah. I th that was. I do like that there is a real difference between my side of the table and your side of the table. Yeah, wow. Well, so I'm just like... I've, I've, all the packs I opened are in this pile, or these he's, sorted things. And you, <laughs> I started just doing a random pile, and I got tired of it because it was so far away, and I'm so weak, and my arms are so short. Uh, so I decided I would just make a pile in front of myself. <laughs> all my tokens are just mixed in here, it's too. A disaster. Well, mm. hey, thanks everybody for watching this crack a box with myself and Kathleen. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please do all those call to actions we joked about. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you feel like supporting our Patreon at patreon.com slash loadingreadyrun or checking out our store, store.loadingreadyrun.com. We'd appreciate that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. We sure did. And we will, by the way, because we do have other packs, we will be doing... Uh, if we haven't already, no, we won't already because this is coming out on release day. Mm -hmm. We will be doing a Friday night paper fight um, sealed, I believe, with some time spiral remastered. So uh, tune in for that on twitch.tv slash loading ready run. If you don't feel like doing the Twitch thing, worry not because the VOD of that will, of course, be here uh, as it always is. So, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye.